Today we have a 2019 Hyundai Elantra, and we're going to do a test fit of PWAG's Servo RS self-tensioning stove tire chains. These chains are pretty awesome to use as a tool to get yourself out of any sticky situations. It's always a good idea to keep chains in your car. What kind of sets these apart is that they're very easy to install. You don't have to get behind your tire to make any connections. It's all going to be at the front, and it's going to be very easy to do. These chains are going to have a diamond pattern, which gives you more coverage around the tire when compared to a traditional ladder pattern, which is in turn going to give you more traction. Now we also do have these square links that are making our cross chains. Those square links are going to dig into that snow and ice and just give you that bite you need. All of the hooks are going to have these nice plastic covers to help protect your tire and your wheel from any damage caused by the links. Now these chains are also going to be self-tensioning, meaning we don't have to purchase any type of rubber adjuster to make sure they stay snug. Self-tensioning system right here is going to make sure that they stay tight against your tire throughout the duration of their use. The chains do have a maximum speed rating of 30 miles per hour and they are SAE Class S rated, so they're good for vehicles with limited wheel well clearance like our Elantra. And they do come in a set of two with this nice carrying case it's going to make for easy storage. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's show you how they install. Now the first thing you want to do is just lay your chains flat and then make sure there's no broken links or any other damage and then any twists or kinks you want to make sure you get those out as well. Now once you've gone over and just done all your checks, we're going to slide them behind our tire making this the halfway point. So we're going to want this side with the red hook to come out from the front. So you see all the way around I got my red hook sitting right here. Now what we're going to do is grab both sides of the cable. We're going to bring it up behind our tire and connect it. And then just slide that behind your tire. From there, keeping a hold of your chain, just start to drag it out from behind and get it draped over the top and sides of your tire. Now up the front, we're gonna grab this gray hook right here and our set of gray links, we're gonna connect it. Just a little tight, just like that. Now we're gonna come up here and we need to set this tab right here. We see the red tab, we have two sides, drive and open. We need to open it up and then pull out some slack we're going to take this connector right here, bring it all the way over and connect it to this red hook. We're going to need a bit more slack, so we'll just pull a little bit more and make that connection. Like so. And then we're going to flip the switch down to drive and it's going to suck up and take a lot of the slack out. Like so. Go ahead and give it a couple tugs just so you can get all the slack out. See, so it keeps looking in. Now it can't come back out. And just repeat this process for your other chain. And then once you've got both of them installed, you just begin to drive forward a bit and then stop and get out and make any adjustments if you need to. With all that being said, it's gonna do it for our test fit of PWAG's Cerbero RS self-tensioning snow tire chains on our 2019 Hyundai Elantra.